In today's video, I want to have a little look at the oil fields in Night City. This area is suspiciously close to North Oak, to the abandoned casino, that kind of look like they're doing something, like there's something going on, but ultimately are pretty barren and really are just kind of there to tease the edge of the map. The oil fields is honestly no exception. Ah, uh, quick one guys, before we get into this video, a, a good portion of you watching are still unsubscribed, and of course that's your choice. Uh, all I'm saying is that if you enjoy this content, please do consider subscribing, and that'd really make my day, so thank you. The oil fields are indeed featured for one mission in Cyberpunk's main story, which is this area right about here. This place is really cool, it's very very detailed, it's obviously extremely dirty and uh, ultimately is a reminder of Night City's pretty disgusting origins. So this is the end of the playable area and we have these big no entry gates. We can clip behind this place and uh, see that the oil fields actually do extend quite a long way. You can also drive cars around this place if you were to spawn in a vehicle um, they usually tend to just, yeah, you know, spawn in on this side of the map. So you'll notice as well that all of these roads which I'm currently driving on are, uh, well, they're textured, they're laid out, and interestingly as well, they actually do appear on the mini-map and also the main map as well. We can see that all of these roads, all the way uh, past this little line here, so all of this is marked on the map but completely out of bounds for the player. Something else which you'll probably notice as well driving around this place is that the dirt has uh, quite a lot of debris in it. Uh, you can see this uh, towards the trash pile. You have a lot of this, you know, these uh, interesting ground textures that are basically like 2D images of, uh, of waste that has just been buried into the floor. It's interesting that all the way out inside this unplayable part of Night City is this uniquely decorated floor. I, I think that's pretty cool. This is one of the most damning pieces of evidence to show that I think more was planned for this area. You even have these nice parts where the ground has been pushed up and you get like this real nice kind of enclosed feeling. And even the further up you go, you get, you know, parts where you're encased in, in dirt. I could almost imagine this being kind of like the foundation for some kind of bridge, you know, some kind of tunnel maybe, like the one that you can see in North Oak. And as we go a little bit further, you can see that eventually we do hit the map's boundary, which is only really about here. These abandoned oil wells go out extremely far, and what I find particularly interesting about all of these is that even if you go all the way outside of the map's boundaries, these models are still extremely detailed. Like, these are not 2D models. I'm not a game developer, but I can imagine that they would be implemented for performance reasons all the way out here uh, very much past the map's boundaries we still have perfectly high definition 3d models with working collision so i i truly don't know what cdpr's intentions were with this why in god's name would you have probably about a hundred oil wells a hundred plus oil wells look how many there are right all of these are they're all real models they're all textured they're all hd they all have collision that these are not memory in uh, memory saving models these are absolutely fucking playable and absolutely gorgeous to look at i don't know if this is one of the reasons why cyberpunk runs like absolute piss and shit but i mean man that's a hell of a lot of models so with that covered um let's actually talk about what the hell is going on here you know is there a reason for this uh, to be so large and for this to be so unused. I don't necessarily think that the oil fields were supposed to house some kind of crazy buildings or some kind of, uh, you know, entirely unique sections of the map that aren't seen in the final game. You can look at concept art for the oil fields and you can see that it's mostly this. It's just barren, destroyed landscapes. One distinct thing though which is actually lacking from the oil fields is, well, fire. And if you refer to cyberpunk concept art for the oil fields, a lot of the time it does indeed feature fire. Even on the wiki page as well, it says that the fire burns in the night and it can be visible. So it's pretty weird that this would be be left out of the game maybe for performance issues I, I don't think this is a stylistic choice 
Not to me, at least. I think what's most likely, though, is that, yeah, the oil fields probably were supposed to be used, uh, maybe not for free roam purposes, but probably for some kind of gig or some kind of side content. It's also likely as well that with this being a, you know, basically abandoned zone and also very industrial, that maybe CDPR didn't really see any worth with it. We already have a pretty heavy industrial zone all the way along here. So, you know, there isn't really a reason to have this ginormous space to be doing pretty much the same thing but ultimately when you consider the fact that this little carved out area is playable and this from all the way back there to all the way over here is unused and unplayable and makes up probably about an eighth of the map maybe even more i mean you could fit a whole district in here look at the fucking size of this what is the reasoning behind it so guys uh with that all said and done uh, what do you guys think do you think that the oil fields were supposed to be something a lot bigger or do you think that this is just you know a little bit of set dressing that we're always used to with these kind of things let me know in the comment section of the video if you enjoyed please leave a like on the video cheers guys and uh, as always i'll catch you lot in a bit